Oh, you doing, Ralph here, Ralphie Customs? Time for another quick vlog. A uh, bit of Mod of Tea action and a bit of Odd on too. Frosty start this morning, winter is upon us. Well, it's autumn, but it's fucking very wintery. Um, we're back on the Model T. Let me get me fucking stick. So, let's go out of the warm cocoon that is the workshop. And, excuse me, here we go. Out into the cold main body of the building. So, there's them. Um, plates look that we fitted and we've got to get from there there to there and we're going to use this bit of aluminium welding rod to kind of give us a bit of a Simon template so we know we need a bend quite soon after it leaves that don't we so we can bend it there and we know it needs to fuck off through that side hole so I'll manipulate that and give myself a guide a little something like this so we've got one end goes in there one end goes in there and that kind of gets us where we need to be so I'll take this over to the bench and we'll try and transfer that shape into the 16 mil tube uh, and we're not afraid to cut and shut it a bit to get exactly where we need to be I'm not quite sure about that I think if it was a bit I think that needs to be nointer and a bit shorter and that needs to be whatever that is like. I might have to tweak and fuck about and do stuff like that but we'll get that to about there and I'll put a mark down the side very put a mark down the side here So I can repeat it with the other piece. There we go. Not quite 90, I think that's right. It might need to be 90, but I'll go and have a test guide. See where it's like. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's cold. I can see my breath. Um, so basically, not even basic, I don't need filler words. We've got that goes in there, needs to be shorter, and then that comes across square to the mud guard, which is something like that, and that's going to line up pretty much there. Yeah, I might need to tweak it a little bit, I think. Just a little tweak more of a bend in that, maybe. We'll see. Um, I do know, I need to chop this end off so it drops right in. I'm going to measure down from there to there to see how much I need to take off it. And also I know that it needs cut in here because we're going to transition to half inch solid for this last bit. But I want to make sure that it's right before I do that, really. So we'll probably, I might chop it here. Oh, actually, I could cut it and put the half inch in red air. I just need some, enough material to still be able to tweak it, should I need to. So, this bit of half inch solid, this stuff, look, sits in, in a, a a caster, no it's not a casting, sits in a holding fixture underneath the guard that's going to be really hard to film so bear with me, it's not held there by magic um, and I've measured down inch and three quarters it is to get this in line with that and 
you can't really see it because that's just hanging there but when i hold it in proper place these all line up so i'm going to chop inch and three quarters off that end and i'm going to cut that shy of the mug guard and then uh, we'll see what's what right. i've not got enough of this to hold in the bandsaw easily so we'll put it in the vice and i use my hacksaw I really enjoy using my hacksaw, so it'll make short work of this tube, like so. Just go nice and steady, and then we're away, which is just perfect. Okay, so this one's about there. It does need a tweak, and I might need to cut a little piece out of here and make a join. But apart from that, we're pretty much sitting how we're going to sit. So what I'm going to do is uh, get a tack on there, on this end, and then cut it. Take a little piece out, and then put a slug in, and weld it one end, and then we'll see what's what with uh, getting it how we need it, I think. I'll weld that in there first, and see if I can't manipulate it without a weld, because that would be preferred, obviously. Right, so we're there. We trimmed up. We've got this invisible join that we've got to finish making, which is know that if we line up the focus in, if we line up the fucking seam, then we're bang on. And we've ended up at a 15 mil shy here. There's not room to take the thick stuff all the way through. So I'm going to make a little vanity ring out of this tube, 16 mil long, and do an uh, invisible join here, and then TIG around the end. So yeah, I'll get that tacked up, get the vanity ring made, and then we'll get it welded up. Should be uh, the job's a fish like. I think what I need to do as well is probably tack that. I didn't want to have to do that. I could centre pop it, but it might not be sitting in dead square, and it's sitting lovely, so if I could hold it there, I might have to get the mig in and put a couple of tacks on, and then... Uh, deal with that after and there it is in all its beauty so we've done the end this end we've extended this and welded it up rocky rocky and we've uh, welded this in place and the jobs are good and what I'll do is I'll go and bolt it back on and then uh, for me, that's the easy bit done. It's making the other one match. That's going to be a bit of a corn. But we've marked it up, so we're in with a chance, ain't it? And there you go. That's it. Wood out of the way. The tin's still a bit flexy, twisty, but you know, it's fucking there. It's got it, boys. So we'll get this other side lined up and then may the fun continue. Right, oh, I'm, I'm fucking bollocks. So not on my own, obviously, but I forgot to get this closed in shop before it got pushed out of the workshop. So here it is outside in the fucking real world with two spanky new fucking rear fender saws. Sorted. Don't forget folks, our fuck stock stickers are now available in our Etsy store. Link in the description below. Fuck stock, you know it makes sense. Right, <clears throat> we're back on this now, uh, and it's still dark out, so it's a bit fresh light. We've got the heater on. The issue is this clearance. There ain't enough, basically. We don't want to move the engine over. Don't have to fuck about with this oven and all that silly bollocks. So what I'm going to do is change the shock amounts if it will focus. So we're going to have this one out. We'll grind the weld off the back. And knock it out and we'll make one that's got this is 10 mil longer the flange to offset it 10 mil the issue the issue <coughs> big issue the problem is the, the biggest problem i can see is this fucking bottom one i think it's part of this casting well it is part of that casting i can cut that off and put a piece in but i'm not sure how it'll weld up uh, if you follow along, you'll know that when we did these cutouts, I silicon bronzed it with a TIG. And I'm not sure if that's the best way to go or not, so... 
I think what I might do is a test. I might clean that area up, weld a bit of steel on with a MIG and then knock it off and we'll have a look at where the weld's gone in and where it ain't gone in. If it penetrates this and holds all right then I'm quite comfortable just cutting that off, putting a piece underneath, welding that back on 10 mil, higher, 10 mil further out and filling in the, the bottom bit with a, an inset. Yeah, that's, that's what we'll do. Right, so we've just welded an old bit of fucking steel on there. Oh, it's still hot. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. Bastard, it's still hot. Um, and then we'll twat it off. I've only welded one side, so I should be able to break it easily. You can see this has been used for this sort of shit before, because there's a fucking wild down lot. Um, and we'll see where the penetration goes, or where it misses. Okie fucking dokey, there's that top stud whipped out while I was uh, whipped out. Ow, bastard, that's hot. We're having a hot morning, isn't we? <clears throat> right, so that's off. Look, we can make a new one of these stick it out is to mount the shocker on. Providing this works, let's have a fucking look, shall we? So, ooh, it's top. Here we go. Hmm. He's definitely bit in, but the penetration's not fucking brilliant. Is it going to be fucking strong enough? Focus. Hmm. Not sure. Do you know? I don't fucking know. I'm going to go with probably. Wow. Right out. <clears throat> here we go. We're going to make one of these, but the fat bit's going to be 10 mil longer. So we've chucked up this bit of steel, and we're going to turn it down to 24 mil. So let's have a fucking oh. change my feed and speed. Come on. Here we go. So we'll just do a quick clean up. That might not finish. Hold on. Right, oh, no, try again. Just change the tip. So, we're not too bothered about missing that bit because we just want that bit. Sorted. Right, oh, we've ended up swapping tooling. Uh, I turned the tip around in that one I was using, but it don't like these lighter cuts that we're making on this, so I've swapped over to this one. And hopefully, Oh, that's a lovely finish, and it should be about bob on. Oh, 23, 23 23.99, I'll take that. So, I'm going to 23.99 my digital readout. <coughs> and then we know we've got this tool indexed in. Um, now we'll get the end face dot, uh, no we won't, we'll turn this down, we need whatever this this is then don't we we need this much at half inch and then this much at 12 mil and happy days all right so now that's nice and fucking lovely finish on it we can face that off look with that and we need to turn this down for 35 millimeters that is to the end so it needs to be um well, half inch at first so again we'll take a cut we're on 12 and a half mil down to 35 so i'm fucking vernier up there with right i've got my verniers and i've done a quick change on the tool because i'm just not happy with the finish that that was giving me so we've got 2144, right, so let me just put that in. X is 21.44, and we want 12 mil, so we've got to hold quite a bit off that. Oh, we want 12.44, so we'll run that down at 21.44 until it's gone down, oh, hold on, 435 mil, so touch on a zero. 35 mil at that which is quite a fucking lot 
uh, and then we'll come back and repeat it until we get down to that 12.4 ain't it so we're doing an heavier cut now we're cutting uh, 60 thou depth of cut and it's still not fucking brilliant what I'll do is slow my feed rate down I think on the next cut we're only fucking about it we're only roughing it out so there's no fucking damage right um, but we will slow the feed rate down for the next cut and see how that goes right same depth of cut although we're cutting a smaller diameter so it's all relative um, and we've slowed the feed rate down and that is now fucking cutting lovely we're breaking nice blue chips the finish looks all right from uh, where I'm standing like so that'll fucking do for me right and we're on the last fucking cup so this is the size that we need 12.4 and then we need to cut a bit this just under 12 to get the thread on because we'll really struggle uh, to cut that thread if it's half a mil oversized 20 thou oversized makes it a bit fucking tight with the dye light but we'll get this down to where it needs to be just there look come on you bastard down to 35 which is there yeah we'll break that edge while we've got it here and then we'll take this next bit down to 12 mil, which is just under 11.9. I'm happy with that. And that needs to go along for. I've got 15 mil. We'll go 16 mil. So just a nice, light little cut look. You're not too fussed about the finish because we're going to cut a thread on top of it. But we want it to be about right, like, you know which is, come on, 16 is there. Okie fucking doke So now we'll get a chamfer on there. I'll do it, actually. I'll do it with this one. I'm going to change my tooling out, but we'll go with that one. Maybe a little bit more. Like right, that, to get the thread started. and we'll cut that thread and then we'll spin it round uh, part it off and machine the other end now we've changed over to the die holder the M12 die in it I'm going to stab it right out of the way and we'll give it just a dab of lube we've slowed everything down and I'm going to move you around a little bit hold on, scream if you want to go faster Let's see what we can fucking do. Come on, you bastard. Come on, you bastard. There we go. Come on, you can do it. There we go. That's happy days. So we reverse everything and fuck that off backwards. Like that. Then forward again and speed it back up. Just to knock the fluff off. No, it's just not a fluff off look. A file. Happy days. Hello, time to part it off. So we've got everything happy like. Get some lube on the job. And let's have this off. And we'll spin it round and machine a little bit that goes through the uh, shock amount and then that'll be ready to weld on come on baby nearly there here we go juice happy days righty fucking out there so that's fucking that's that faced off we'll just sorry that's that parted off we'll just face off at that um, and I know that the bit that we're leaving wants to be 16 mil long, so I'm going to do a quick dirty setup and just touch my jaws there, which is uh, this is shoved right in, so that'll do, and that'll get me 
minus 16 is what I want, which is, come on, there, yeah, the minus 16 there, look, give ourselves a marker, and we'll machine this down to 12 mil. So, yeah, bear with. I'll get this machine down. Change the feeds and speeds over. Get this machine down. So like fucking so, in short order. Down to minus 16. Yeah. Oh, only bastard. Nice and quick, look. Hogging it out. Go on, you bastard. What did we say we wanted? 12 mil. Right, let's fucking sneak up on it a bit. That's 13 and a half mil. And we want 11.9, which is... Come on. Come on. There. Well, we'll send that, look. We'll take it down to 16, minus 16 is coming up, just fucking hold on, there. And that should do nicely. And there it is in place. So we've shoved it in, knocked it in the hole, like, welded it up. We'll tick round this front uh, join, I won't touch it, because otherwise it'll be another fuck me, that's hot moment. Uh, now I need to look at the bottom one. I mean, I've, I've marked out a bit of plate, for this bit what I need to do is machine it because it's too thick and I might be able to use that as part of the joining joining the uppy bit so just bear with right I forget about using it as a bit of a filler in her um, we've got this 10 mil plate and it needs to be 8 mil so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take forty thou off it I'm just setting everything up off camera yeah we're gonna run along that at a steady rate of knots and take off uh, a minute of time I think and see how it fucking goes you know what I reckon I could do the two mil to be fair that's breezing through there, ain't it? Oh well. You can join me again when I'm nearer the fucking size like. Well, that's not fucking good. <laughs> Is it? Oh, that gets a fucking other tripod. Right, oh, handheld for obvious reasons. And there's the last cut coming up. So, it should be absolutely golden. And there we go, sorted. Right, we're over to the mighty Meddings. So draw this out to 8 mil. Just give it a dab. And we'll be happy days. Fucking great bit of kit this drill. Don't slow down a lot. One fucking leaning on it. It's fucking straight through this bit of 8 mil blade. Just like that. Right. So we've shaped that, we've drilled it and shaped it, and we knocked up a quick 10 mil space off to represent the spacing. <laughs> um, and what I plan to do is cut some strip steel inch wide and set it underneath this piece and onto that piece, and then fucking mold it all up basically. Take the swing arm out, fucking mold it all up. I'll probably pre-eat it. Um, well, maybe not. Right, with that in place, look, we've got a little, we've got a little bit underneath. It's going to be welded all the way around. We're going to fill that with weld, and we've V'd out the underneath of that. So we're almost at 100% penetration. Like, I reckon I'll do it. Um, see, with the chain in place now, I've got more of a scope for running the fucking chain guard clear of everything and i'm going to fit it in that cut out there a little bit like that just like that yeah off and then the original front that i chopped off if you remember 
Uh, I can use the back, the strap off the back will kind of fit there and be trimmed down and reshaped. And then we'll look at the rear one. If we get the shocker on, I'm looking to use this spacer as part of the mounting, if I can. So we've, that's one of the existing, one of the original fucking mounting straps, and I reckon it's gonna work. I've, I've trimmed it down and I'm just drilling it out with the fucking mighty meddings. But I, I need two hands, so you'll have to join me once I've completed the task. I know, that, my friends, is gonna sit about fucking there. Look at the glare, that's awful, isn't it? I'll get that in the middle of the swing arm and that'll be about bang on for it. Yeah. So I'll mark this where it needs to be and then we're gonna go over to the lathe. Yes, and make a Roddy McDowell threaded, eh me? You fucking dokey, so we need a little top hat. And the, the large diameter is 22 millimeters, which we're just dialing in now. And then we're gonna send it, so hold on. Right. The whole thing, I think, I want 20 mil going in the swing arm. Or oh, 15 would do, actually. 15 mil in the swing arm, five mil poking out, so. Anywhere near 20 mil will get us there, won't it? Right, now we'll just make sure we're zeroed on that front and we want it 19, which is there. Fit the duration of what goes in the swing arm, which we said would be about 20 mil. We don't even need to fucking is that accurate you know well, should, we're only making it up as we go along so that is coming up to 20 mil there you go 20 mil i'll break that edge I'll break that edge Jeez. that would have been fucking nasty wasn't it um and now we need to drill and tap it then we can part it off so in we go with the pilot drill and then in with a 6.8, ready to take the tap. And a quick counter ball. Happy days. Now we'll give it a part off before we spin it around. Play up, just nudging it across. Before we spin it around and run the thread in it. Yeah? Look, so we'll put this off first and turn it around to put the thread through. We're not overly worried about it being perfectly concentric and it stops it being a blind hole, which is safer and happier and everyone's good. Okay, so we'll just break that edge. Like so. Coming with a counter ball. Like fucking so. Give it a good one, because we're gonna start threading from this end now, aren't we? We've slowed everything down. And we're coming in with the machine tap, which it should take off me and draw through the hole, cutting the thread as we go. Oh, I'll tell you what I've not done. Well spotted, I've not tonked the uh, the tap holder with an hammer because normally it's split, it slips like it is now, so I'm just leaning on it a bit. Right, that's good. We'll just reverse it up. Sorry, you, that was really bad filming, you couldn't really see that, could you? I've just realised. There you go. We're all threaded up. Okay, so with that made, we can turn our attention to the swing arm, which I've already marked and drilled a pilot hole in. And then we're going to follow that through with a trusty old stereo also, which I can't really do very well and film at the same time, because I need two hands in my fucking tripod's broken, as you've just seen. Egg is another two, so it'll have less fucking teeth than me by the time we finish with it, bless it. But, there you go. The problem is, you need to steady him up or you just fucking snap him to pieces, to be fair. <laughs> See? Look. Fucking hell, it's like an old fucking broken fence. Right, so we've got that hole for that threaded bunk. And that'll go in there once I've cleaned it up a bit. And uh, that'll do for the front mount. So, we're halfway there, aren't we? I'm thinking of something snazzy for the back, but we'll get the shocker on and check for that then. 
It's smoking. There you go. So that's fucking welded. That's tucked in. And as soon as I can get anywhere fucking near it, I'll get it on and then we'll have a look at the back one. Right, so with that held in place, top tip when you're fitting up, don't cut your bolts down and worry about bottom, you know, sharp, tightening them right down, chopping bottom, right? Hey, hey, see what? Uh, nearly turned into Stanley fucking all win again. So run a nut on, put a lock nut on, wind it in so you know it's all right, like, and then fucking nip it up with a lock nut. Saves a lot of fucking about. Off his top tip. So, my sneaking plan, I would confess, was to use this spacer that's don't fit because this shocker's not right. And come up and across. You, but it ain't gonna work. You're not gonna get it out of this gap. There's nothing there. Nothing is, nah, no, fuck that, that's bollocks. Bearing in mind that there's stuff going on with the brake as well, that needs looking at. Mm. So, we need to stay way away from there, I think. And have a bit of a rethink about the rear mount. So there you go. I'm going to call it. Um, I'm off now. So you'll have to see how this uh, worked out in the next episode. Yeah. It just leaves me as always to thank you for watching. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a sub. Check out all the bump in the description below. And I'll catch you on the next one. Big love everyone. See you soon.